What's up guys, Headphones Neil here, back with another film review, and this is going to be the 2020 film, the Lego Star Wars Holiday Special, recently released on Disney+. Plus. So, we meet that we have the sequel characters getting ready to celebrate another life day, and um, in the process we have uh, Rey getting ready to go on an adventure to gain a deeper understanding of the Force. So, that leads me directly into the first point that we learn in this film, uh, or because we like the original holiday special, we got a new character in Boba Fett. But in this film, we get a more official stance that Finn is force sensitive. So we have Ray teaching him how to use a lightsaber and gain a better understanding of the force, but is having trouble teaching him the patience needed to do so. So in the process, she decides to go to a planet to under see if she can understand what's going on a little bit better and to become a better teacher. And she starts going back through the timeline of various Star Wars events in the prequels, original trilogy, and sequels in order to gain that understanding. And using Yoda as a guide, she learns that teaching is something that's created by creating that bond with other people, not just um, having that disassociation of teacher and student or teacher and apprentice. So she learns like with uh, Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan, with Obi-Wan and Anakin, with Yoda and Luke, they have that relationship where they become more than just teacher and student, they become uh, friends and family. So that's what she needs to build with Finn, that she can't stay distant. She has to um, get closer to him as a friend in order for it to work out better. And overall, I want to say that is very well done, um, especially when we have quotes from Yoda saying, participation trophies for Jedi there are not. So overall, you get a good lighthearted feeling, but a very well done or very well presented idea of time travel through the um, the time the, to the very through the various periods. So I do like um, also that once the Emperor sees what's going on, he tries to send Vader back through time to control the past and save his own life. So once he learns that Vader's going to throw him down the shaft, he tries to recruit Kylo Ren, who, um, as we originally see, um, or where the um, story starts in that um, Vader tries to present the name of the second Death Star as Starkiller Base, but the Emperor disregards it. But when Kylo Ren brings it up, the Emperor is all in. And so that creates a bit of fun tension between the three of them. Um, otherwise, the things that stood out for me that I liked was the Vader versus Vader battle on Hoth, where they show where the Return of the Jedi era Vader shows up in the Empire Strikes Back era Vader, and they fight out and they realize that they're the same and they both both tell their storm troopers to go after Rey. Um, I like that they included um, McClunky with Greedo as a bit of lighthearted touch and it felt even more silly in this iteration of the film. Um, with General Akbar or Admiral Akbar being in the film you would expect something some sort of variation of it's a trap and they did include it here where he gives a rap to Lando Calrissian and says it's a rap because Lando's expecting another cape. Um, and finally, on a more serious or less lighthearted note, I like that instead of ending or having Vader throw the Emperor down the shaft and just having him yell no, he Vader yells that he's done taking orders from the uh, Emperor, so that was a pretty nice touch to change that up. So um, I would hope that if they do go back and change anything in Return of the Jedi, that they change that to say that he's done taking orders from the Emperor or some more serious note there. So overall, the film is done, well done. I like that they um, um, they are trying to cook a dish, but they don't really go into the recipes or anything like that. We have um, uh, what's his name Poe trying to cook the food on the engines of the um, Millennium Falcon, and it's always getting burned. We have three PO dancing, and we have the porgs and all of that. So. All in all, very well done with the new with the sequel cast of characters to create that family and uh, friendly environment and celebrate another life day. So, overall, I give it a grade of an A. It was very well done in the Lego form. So, if you watch the Lego movies and you enjoyed those, then you should be in for a treat here. Um, it's definitely better than the first um, holiday special in that. They take it lighthearted, but it's very well produced and they have a nice story. Um, and regardless of how you feel about time travel in movies, this is a more lighthearted version of that. So when you have all the Han Solos fighting on Tatooine, when you have um, 
Ray jumping around in the different universes, and you have, for example, Luke versus Luke, and then you have Luke and Luke fighting Vader and Kylo Ren and the Emperor, and then things like the Emperor learning that Vader's going to betray him and all of that. So overall, very well done. And then having Ray go back and undo all of it to fix it uh, generally worked. And then just having Yoda finalize the whole film to teach Ray the lesson of family and friendship. So I definitely recommend watching it, and that's really all there is for this review. So if you want to get in touch with me, you can find me on Twitter at PatelN01. The website is pateln one for past episodes supporting the show and all of that good stuff. But thanks for tuning in, and until next time.